When uh, that property tax initiative was presented, it was for just the city of Seattle. And a conversation between the proponents and the city and then the county, we um, identified with great clarity that this is not just a city of Seattle issue, that's a regional issue. And so everybody agreed to take a step back and talk about what we need to do as a region to get ahead of the homelessness challenge. And this meeting is a direct result of that conversation. You see a regional tax, property tax initiative. So there is clear, we're spending a lot of money right now on crisis response. But on the prevention side, on the root causes, there is clearly still a gap in the resources available, gap between what's needed and what's available. So we're going to have to have a conversation about what resources, what source of resources is appropriate, when that would be appropriate, and, uh, and that is going to be one of the main outcomes of this conversation, I think, is for us to reach a regional consensus about what we need to do and what we're willing to do to get to that prevention side of the equation. And I just want to add to that, I think, I heard very clearly from every corner of Seattle, and I heard it from the mayors, people are willing to do more, but they want to know what they do is the right thing and the thing that's going to make a difference. And so I think, you know, we can't reverse engineer this. It's not taxes first, then do the services to fit the taxes. Mm -hmm. This is all about defining the scope of what is needed, who's bringing what to the table, and how do we get to solutions really that work. So we've got to quantify what are going to be the solutions that are going to turn the dial on this. Once we have those, then we can talk about what are the resources needed. You know, it's important that we have business and philanthropy are at the table as well. So it is not just about let's pass taxes, then let's figure out what programs we can do within those resources. It really is. Let's define the problem, let's find the solutions, and then let's scope what we need to do to fill that gap. No, I think you just took the ab exact opposite of what I'm saying is we're not going to say these are the taxes we want and then have the solutions fit those. We want to say what is the problem? I think we know what that is and we saw the level setting today. What are the solutions that will actually change it? And then what, how do we get to those solutions? And when we get to that stage, I think everything has to be on the table, including is it different governance? Are there different resources? Are there different taxes? We, you know, is philanthropy stepping up to a different part of it? Is business stepping up to a different part of it? All of it is part of a solution, but we really have to have, here's what the problem is, here's how we're going to fix it. And if, if, if I might, just a moment, too. One of the things that we need to be looking at in all of this as we, as we look at what those solutions are is, are we working things the most efficiently and effective way possible now? Uh, we should not take taxes as the number one way that we are going to, to solve this issue. Uh, we need to be looking at what are we currently doing that might not be working, how could we better utilize the, re the resources that we currently have. That has to be a discussion as part of this as well.